and the market is somewhere right here hey guys today i am coming to you live from the mu tundwe neighborhoods and in this video we are going to see the mu tundwe kaboa wankulukuku ndeba neighborhoods also i would include chitevi but we're not we may not reach there but that is what i'm going to bring for you today make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications let's grow this video so this neighborhood is not so far away from the neighbor neighborhood and endeavor is in most cases known for a lot it is known for mechanics known for bars and then there are a lot of people uh, that we may call the families that don't have a lot or the ghettos that's what i would prefer to call them and in such areas there is always a lot i usually tell you there is a lot of people meaning there is a lot of food a lot is in these areas so just help me like this video and drop a like drop a like comment and do everything let me know what you'd want to to see next on the channel and what your memories with this area are as well if you have any just want to take you through and show you different things And I wanted to go through this, specifically this part. I remember one time when I was covering the road that I'm about to, to reach, I told you that one day I would make it and bring you this area. This is how it looks like. A lot of people use this street as they're going back home. And not so far away there is a compass of the originals which is Kampala University somewhere up so meaning that community is also around here that's why they would the university kids mostly most of all them use or enjoy the food from these what we call the Bufundas or the areas or the ghettos that, something like that that's what I would call them and yeah we are almost coming to an end of the area but still the start of the video a lot to cover a lot to cover around here around uh, around 7 a sorry 7 p.m it is always a lot of people crossing here you just need to be extra careful as you're using this area that's all i can tell you any memories with this area of course i've gotten a lot of people that come from these areas and they're no longer in the country they left they miss these areas any memory or you don't have any memories with the area it's still okay that doesn't stop you from liking the video so if you recall very well i covered this area and showed you cafe Kentaro and the Wankulukuku Stadium which is right somewhere there so we are going to be crossing from here and explore the other neighborhoods so here it's safe we can cross hope me like the video it is already 6 p.m and i have been moving i've been covering some some parts of the of the other hill it is mutundwe and by the way that side it is still mutundwe we haven't touched the wankulukuku neighborhoods when i turn the camera we will have started the mutundwe neighborhoods let's go like this Sorry, the Wankulukuku neighborhoods. It is still the Mutundwe neighborhoods that side. And 
this is the time when street foods, the people that sell the street foods are coming in. And there is some constructions going on. I covered this road, guys. You can go and check it out. That is the Mstesa 2 Stadium. Call it Wankulukuku. The home of Express FC. That is a garage over there. But that is not our main focus for today. Because I covered this. Guys, why don't you allow me skip this part? Only that there is some bit of improvement on the project we didn't leave these structures here that have been put in place also they had just dug around here for the for the culverts the space for the culverts And they finally put the culverts inside. So we can continue like this and see the other parts. So at the moment we are going through the Wankulukuku neighborhoods. That is still the stadium where you see the palm trees. So we are going to go through. Kaboa and later Ndeva. Just remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then turn on the notifications. Let's grow this channel together. It's the road to 4,000 subscribers. Currently at 2 subscribers let's grow let's grow of course it is 3000 later we can go to 4000 how about i don't take you to that side and cross from somewhere so Let's continue towards this side. So this road is currently under construction. It goes through and connects next to the FDC offices along Entebbe Road for the people that know them. And I covered that road. You can look out for the video. It's not so far away. And link up with this. So today's video is not about the road. Just taking you through the neighborhood. And this is currently still the Wankulukuku neighborhood and yeah remember to like this video subscribe to the channel and it is in the outskirts of Kampala so they are there is a bit to better the Kampala roads and this is what they are currently doing all this flooding which is usually here is going to be worked upon so it goes like that up to the other side and the other way it goes to an area called Chitevi but that's not our target today. Our target is going to this neighborhood, this other side. Just do the liking, I do the walking. This place is being worked upon and yeah, this truck failed to make it through and they had to turn it around. <laughs> Just lively people who help me you like this video. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, and let's grow this channel. So, at the moment, it's no longer the Wankulukuku neighborhood, it is the it is turning into the Kavoa neighborhoods.
at the moment. Very lively. And this road as well is going to be worked upon somewhere as where we're heading. They, they started, but then they decided to concentrate on the area that we have left behind and the road to the other side. So just working is the one we left the money according to the authorities the money was released and this would be a nice place with a nice road to be nice the rent this side is not so high businesses are booming food is one of the businesses that works better this way and then shops that sell home appliances and other items needed at home just help me like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications for more. Turn on the notifications for more. Yes, this is 6 p.m. People are going back home. People are rushing. Others are going for the night shift. That is what is happening at the moment. Night shift, others going home. Others have come just for some shopping of the few things that they don't have, all the things they have not found at home, and they need them either for preparing supper or preparing lunch the next days or any other meal. Did I say lunch? It's supposed to be supper. This time is for supper either dinner one of the two some of us just eat whenever we are hungry 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 we don't wait for times say that this is supper or dinner at the moment it is 6 p.m if i get hungry i will eat even before sleeping bad eating habits we still have them and we think it's very normal and around here it's like a simple market and they also do prepare different foods people come sit down and eat and that's what happens there so the road is going to be worked upon <laughs> Someone being beaten for he has been riding recklessly he passed by me and almost knocked the person that was behind me. So they are beating him just small, small. Not seriously, they just want to have him disciplined. Of course not serious beatings, no, no, no. That would be more justice. So some beds and chairs. I see a sideboard over there. In other words, furniture. Let's continue. This road takes us up to somewhere in Endeavor, next to the Leire. Oh, the Dinia Mosque. That is charcoal, charcoal, charcoal. Found out that I was so that side it is Naluko Longo. I found out I was super slow and I had to double my speeds double my speed such that I can get there before it's too late just help me like the video subscribe to the channel
anything you want to see on the channel you can as well let me know this is january Let's continue going through the Kavoa, Kavoa neighborhoods. And from Kavoa, we have to connect to Ndeva, which Ndeva connects you to one called Chibuye, and from Chibuye, Katwe, and then later to the capital city, which is Kampala. evening guys and this is how evening looks like if this road is worked upon I think it will be linking a lot of cars to the other part oh. <laughs> Almost knocked them down. By the way, all those stuff, all that stuff is old stuff or used stuff. Like someone has their bed and they need money, they'll just bring it here. Let me say you bought your bed at 500,000. And then you need an emergency of like 300,000 and they value it at that money. I'll just give it to you. The milkman is from doing his work. Those are the teens that transport milk and they use bicycles for evening. I am still there, though just want you to feel what I feel, what I am feeling at the moment. That's why I have not put any music. I just left everything grow. Only that as we approach right somewhere here, there is some music playing and you can see those are the culverts meant for this road. Only that they changed their mind and decided to first work on the other part then they will later come to this other part but yeah hopefully the road is gonna be worked upon this very yeah allow me guys to first pause from somewhere here the music is too loud pastor wilson bugembe I think it's slower right now. That is Pastor Bujingo, sorry, Pastor Bugembe's. I think the music is currently lower. That is Pastor Bugembe's Manyi. Pastor Bugembe is a singer and also he does minister. He is the lead pastor at Prayer House, one of the churches in Uganda born again churches in Uganda and yeah that was his music so as we're heading this way this is part of the drainage channel that were that had been worked upon and due to the summits the Nam summits things were switched up and they told the all the people to work on the most crucial roads and the most crucial roads were concentrated on hopefully they are going to come back after the NAM summit and the G77 summit are done. This is still Kaboa, the neighborhood of Kaboa, known for spare parts and mechanics as well. Just like neighbor where we are heading. Hope me like this video, subscribe to the channel and you can drop a comment and let me know what you think of this area any memories with the area 
for the people that grew up in this area, let me know as well. And you've been away for some time, you can as well let me know. I used to walk from this way. This is where our garage was somewhere up in those trees. But we're left to some other location which is not so far away from here. And yeah, life goes on. Of course, in business, location is important. If it's not favoring, I know you will just have to switch to another one. And let me cross like this. The music is so loud. So loud. Hopefully, it's not affected. Yeah, this road is going to be constructed. No much feelings. On that side, that is a man-made lake. It's a pond, but they call it a lake. And those are milk cans. These guys prepare their milk. They cook the milk and later they bring it to the people so they can't hold the the cans as they are still hot they bring them into that man-made pond and then mash them there to cool the milk not they don't put them they don't mix the water with the milk no they just mash them there such that they are cool so we are leaving Kavua and heading towards Ndeva. Just help me like the video, subscribe to the channel as well, and let's go. Let's go. This is evening, the 16th day of January 2024. This is one of the Kampala suburbs you need to check out. And we are drawing closer to the main road. That is a mosque. Before us, it is a mosque, it is called Omzikitigwa Dinia or Dinia's Mosque. The guy that started it is called Dinia and the mosque was named after him. So the road will be coming up to this very far. This whole part is going to be worked upon up to this way and that is the mosque, the main road is somewhere there. Street foods are already in place. The famous Ugandan avocado and many others. So that is the main road. It links you to the city. And this is where I'm going to be ending the video. Thank you guys for watching to this very end. Hope you liked the tour. If you did, remember to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications. Be notified just in case of any other. Just in case of any other video, you'll be notified. And this is the town of Ndeva. I wanted us to go up to the Leire, where the Leire crosses the road, because I've started several videos from there. I want to leave you in a place where you connect with the past events.
all the areas I've mentioned, the areas I've walked through, are areas with a lot of people, home to a lot of people. So somewhere right here, this is where the market is. That is the whole chicken, grilled chicken. And the market is somewhere right here where the Leire crosses the road. So this is where I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys for watching to the very end. I've been yours truly, Ivan, and I am signing out. I want to show you the beautiful sunset. It is just right there. The sun is setting. And allow me end here. I've done a video through this community as well. You can check it out on the channel. I'm out.